We are back on the town hall with a twist to a growing trend. You've probably heard of no mow may help out the planet by doing nothing at all. In this case, not mowing your yard this month. Well, the city of Buffalo has actually joined the growing list of places encouraging people to participate. But some researchers now say what started as an idea to help out the ecosystem may be doing more harm than good. After an especially difficult winter, spring finally sprung. A time to tidy up backyards and gardens. But for a lot of people, the season starts with doing nothing, thanks to a relatively new trend. The premise behind Nomo May is, can we provide a more suitable habitat for pollinators by not mowing in the month of May. Turf grass expert John Trappy says no mow May took off in 2020, a wildly popular idea after research found not mowing promotes flowers for pollinators early in the season. But Trappy says that data is now being retracted. You know, we don't know for sure if there is any benefit from not mowing in the month of May uh, for pollinators, uh, but we do know that there could be some negative aspects, at least for our lawn. To understand why, it's important to know grass grows excessively twice a year, including at the start of summer. Its trimmings providing nutrients to withstand drought and rising temperatures. Cutting it come June and composting those long clippings elsewhere stresses our yards even more. We always recommend recycling or returning the clippings. And so if you are having to mow off, uh, you know, 12 or 18 inches of lawn, uh, you are effect, you know, that's going to be too much all at once. So why did no mow may take off so much? I think pollinators have really captured the public's attention. And I think people have come to appreciate on how important they are for us as, uh, as a society. Besides bees, birds and butterflies keep most of the world's crop plants alive that require pollination by animals. Trappy not at all against promoting them. There are other things to do besides just not mowing. One idea, create what he calls a bee lawn. He's been working to develop it for a decade. This pot here in my right is is uh, called yarrow, uh, and the, the pot here on my left is called self-heal. And both of these are uh, part of some bee lawn mixes. These new seed mixtures grow to tolerate everything from mowing to children playing, while also making an ideal space for pollinators. And it's as easy as tossing the seeds right into your backyard. Call it a new mowing movement that Trappy says benefits the environment and everything in it. Researchers say once you decide to create a bee lawn, the best time to start planting is either right now or wait until the late fall. After you maintain it a little bit, it should become less work and it will attract dozens of different bee species.